Definitely some handy fellas to have around. It's time to boldly go where no cow has gone before. Okay, hang on. Whoa! It's not feeding time. This is so excellent. I mean, I've got little Bo Peep, the cow who jumped at the moon. And who are you? I'm Gordon Goose, mother's son. Never heard of you. But it's so cool that you're all here. Now you can act out your stories for me instead of Mother Goose just telling them to me. Look, little kid, uh, big kid, I don't know why you've taken my mother, but you have to let her go. She's got to return to Rhymeland. Why? Because there won't be any more stories. Yeah, there won't be any more rhymes. There wouldn't be any more Mother Goose tales for anyone. See, all of Rhymeland is disappearing. Uh, Mother Goose created Rhymeland and all the rhymies, and they wouldn't exist if she wasn't there. And now that you've taken her, you're destroying everything that she's created. You mean I'm a bad guy? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. When I took Mother Goose, I didn't mean to do anything wrong. I didn't mean to ruin Rhymeland. It's just I'm her biggest fan, and I wanted her all to myself. Michael, dear, what Gordon says is true. My rhymes are for all children. And if you're my biggest fan, you wouldn't want to deny all the future children of the world the same joy my stories bring to you. Am I going to get punished for this? Of course not, dear. Of course, a couple of noogies wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Gordon. Okay, let me put you back before it's too late. Goodbye. Bye. Whoa. Where's my mother? It's good to have you back, Mom. It's good to be back. And did my little honk miss me? And now that you're back, Rhymeland and all the Rhymies can get back to normal. Normal? There's nothing normal about them. Son, there's nothing wrong with being different. Why, that's what makes life interesting. If we were all alike, life would be very, very boring. Well, maybe, but I'm not one of them. Well, personally, I wish you were one of us. Gordon, the time has come to tell you something important. I knew it. I'm adopted, right? No, you are fictional. Great! What do you mean? I mean, I made you up. I created you. I wanted a rhyme, so... You mean I'm a rhymey? You are the first rhymey. Boy, you must be pretty old. <laughs> Why didn't you ever tell me? Well, since you were my first creation, your rhyme wasn't very good. I was so embarrassed, I didn't want people to read it, so I just told everybody that you were my real son. And now is the time to show you the rhyme.
Here it is. Gordon Goose's pet got loose early in the morning. What's the use of having a good... Oh, brother, you're right. This is a terrible rhyme. Not your best work, Mother Goose. Can you think of anything that rhymes with Gordon? Schmorden? Schmorden? No. No. Mom, couldn't you just have named me Bill? I don't think anyone should ever read this. Sorry, darling. The rhyme didn't work very well, but you turned out just right. And I'm very proud of you. And as far as I'm concerned, you'll always be my dear son. No wonder I had to try so hard to be normal. It's because I'm not. What do I do now? I don't feel normal. I don't feel like a rhymey. I'm confused. Where do I belong? You belong here, in Rhyme Land. In Rhyme Land. Well, maybe you're right. I'm beginning to feel a little strange already. How good. <laughs> maybe we could uh, look for those sheep. Together, I'm sure we could find them. Of course, it may take a long, long time. All right. Well, <laughs> then, why don't you two get started? <laughs> Oh, uh -huh.